Let me see you, let me see you, let me see you To do, do the robot Sin robot I'm a lady robot We are going to break down the simple popping routine. If you never popped before and uh, you, you and your friend want to do a simple popping routine, this would be something that you may get started with. So first thing we did is it's, this is almost like a bottom first. The bottom first basically you divide your body into half. There's a top, there's a bottom, okay? And what we're doing now, if you, if you pan down here, take a look at the, the legs, we're pivoting on the bar of our feet. That means you put your weight in the front and the heel moves side to side, okay? So come on back up. So what we're gonna do uh, is we're concentrating, not moving our shoulder. So it's not like this. We're not moving this. Uh, so one of the things that you guys have to understand about popping is there's isolation involved. Meaning you're controlling a certain part of your body and the other part's moving while some part is just not moving at all, like a statue, okay? So first thing we're doing is we're holding the upper body, isolating in space, and we're twisting the lower body. You're going one, two, three, four. When you first start off, you might not even be able to pop. So you might just go one, two, three, four, holding it. But if you get better, you want to be able to go one, two. You guys see what Sammy's doing? He's pivoting, but then he's also popping his legs. So if you guys don't remember popping legs, go to our leg popping drills, okay? And you want to be able to pop. At the same time though, you got to make sure this part is not moving. A lot of beginners, it's really easy to go overcorrect. They overcorrect, they move too much. They move too much. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you hold it nicely. This is nice and still. So six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Good? So moving on. Now what we do is now we're going to move the upper, upper body. You're going to turn on the five, raising our hand up here on the five. Okay? And we're going to pop. Everything we do, we're going to pop. Eventually you're going to pop. But if you can't do that right now, don't worry. Just remember the, the routine. Remember the choreography. Here's five. <coughs> Leg up on six. Bring it, on the, bring it down on seven, you hold the eight, okay? So adding the pop, it goes like this, from the five, okay? So we have one, two, three, four. Five is here, five, six, seven, eight. Let me explain what we're doing on the five, okay? Right on the five, you're popping your arm, but also we're popping our legs. So what we're doing is you're going one, two, three, four, five, on the five, you're popping the arm, Right arm, left leg. Okay, you're leaning on the, that's the, that, that's the five. Right on the six, boom, you're switching. We're actually popping both arms. Okay, you're popping both arms. Since this leg is up, you only can pop this leg, okay? So again, you're popping that leg on the six. Five, six, bring it down on the seven. On the seven, what I do is when I bring my weight down here, my weight is back here, so I'm gonna pop my right leg. Seven, eight. Seven and eight is the same thing, I'm popping seven, eight. Okay? All right, so moving forward, our second eight count. We start off here. You're going one, two, three, four. Now, as we're doing this one, this, this, is, this is more of a, we, we call this a walkout. You're walking into another position, okay? One, two, what are we doing? We're, we're still popping our arms. One, two, and this time, Look at, the, look at the lean, okay? The upper body's kind of leaning back. You're kind of creating this, this slant angle. So we're not just going one, two. I'm not leaning forward. I'm kind of leaning back. So the weight is on the back leg. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. Popping the arm. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now, what are we doing? We're gonna pivot our legs again, right? Again, this is like a bottom first again. So again, top part, Try not to move, you're pivoting on the five. 
five, and then six. So bottom first, bottom moves before the top move. That's called bottom first. One more time, going back to the four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, walk out here, seven, eight, okay? Seven, eight. One more time, just that last eight count. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, if remembering to pop at the same time is too hard for you right now, that's all right. Just practice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you get that, then add the pop in. Okay, make sure the time is correct as well. Okay? So, going back to uh, the first eight count, let's try to review the first two eight count together. Six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're moving on to the next eight count, okay? So last one we finished eight here. So the first eight count, I'm actually going to do the opposite side so you know what we're talking about. So here, seven, eight, we look on one, two, and then step, step back, three, four. One more time. So we have seven, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Again, what we're doing right now, we're not popping yet. We're gonna add the popping in later, all right? So we have seven, eight. One, two, three, four. This part is called the Neko Flex. Okay, electric boogaloo is called this the Neko Flex. So we have five and six, seven and eight. Okay, seven, eight, you hold it. Neko Flex, one more time. Again, this is kind of like a top first version, but you're, you're, you're chopping off at the neck. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Sammy, Sammy to demonstrate right now. This is seven, eight. He has one, two, on one, two is just the head. One, two. Three, four. Three, four, notice that the body is facing this way, but the head is facing this way. So they're at a 90 degree difference, okay? So step back, just, there you go. Good, 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 right here. So that's one, two, hold three, four. Now, imagine somebody's holding your head like this in space, okay? And he's gonna turn, boom. Body doesn't move, and then, now he's gonna go step, step. Boom, boom, okay? He's going boom, boom. One more time, right here, you got here, here, so when, when he's pivoting, when he's pivoting right here, he's gonna go right leg first. Right leg's gonna step, right, left. Right, left, okay? So he's spinning around. As he's spinning around, the head doesn't move, and then turn on the seven, eight. Okay, let's do this one more time together. Five. I'm gonna go slow. This is seven, eight, we step on, or look on. One, two, three, four. Turn on the five, five, and six. So it's five and six. And six, seven, eight. Let's do it together. I know we're going through this a lot because I know this move is quite a lot. Um, a lot of little things that we're trying to look at, so make sure we, we get this correct. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, okay? If it's taking a while, it's all right. Rewind the video back again. One of the things that you guys can do is utilize YouTube's uh, video function. Slow down, the, uh, slow down the video. Play at a half speed. Play at a quarter speed. Whatever speed that you think you can, uh, that's gonna help you, go ahead and do that. Pause it, rewind it, okay? So, uh, we're gonna do it one more time, but this time we're gonna do it to the music. Starting from the eight. Five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, that move, the Neko Flex. Uh, we both taught that before, and we want to kind of go over some of the pitfalls. So, Sammy, you want to share some of the pitfalls that we've seen? Yeah, I think the, there's a couple common things with the Neko Flex that go wrong. Um, the first being uh, the head positioning. So, like Seat said, you turn your head and you lock it into position, like right above your shoulder, and then uh, it's supposed to stay there as your body pivots around. Oftentimes, what you'll see is like people will look, and then as they pivot, uh, their head starts to actually go with their shoulder. So when they finish, they 
And some were either looking forward or kind of at a half angle where they were. They're not completely looking in the way. Uh, and the part of the illusion of the necroflex is that your head stays stuck. And when guys are really good at it, when they turn and their body rotates around and their head doesn't move at all, that's where you get that, whoa, there was that crazy separation. Um, and I think the second thing um, is the footing of the, the necroflex, mm -hmm. which um, I think a lot of people, uh, which is one of my first mistakes learning this move when I was taught it, um, when I would step around, so if I was here, instead of me taking my foot back and sort of, uh, and the, the tip was to go underneath my, my heel, and so when I stepped, I landed exactly where I had left from. But a lot of people, I think, they either do this where they rotate and they kind of go to the side, yeah, or they yeah. rotate and they move like forward. As they, yes. so, they, so you have to make sure it's like a, a good way to help, I think, is putting something uh, on the ground or finding like a space where you're like, you can see your feet um, on a mark or a line. And then when you step, you're like, am I still on the same mark throughout the whole move or have I moved at all? I think yeah. that's going to help with it. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest pitfall is, uh, you know, as, as Sammy was talking about, you go in here and if I'm, okay, so in our routines, we go here, I'm gonna take this way, and you're supposed to step to keep the head in, in space. A lot of us will, uh, uh, the instructor will probably say, okay, spot. We'll spot one place, and then when we spin, we'll go like, boom, and we'll move out of our, of our location, so our entire body moves, so obviously the head is moving, but we're focusing so hard on that spot. Yes, our eyes didn't leave that spot, but our whole body just moves. Yeah. And one other thing too, I see this too, we go like this, they go like this. There's an there's a up-down, okay, there's an up-down. So you wanna make sure that everything about your head is in space. It's not moving this way, it's def it shouldn't be moving up and down as well. So you wanna make sure as you, as you do your nickel flex here, boom, boom, try really, really hard. And again, when I first started learning this uh, um, with uh, electric boogaloo, with Skeeter Rabbit mainly, it's, um, it was so hard. I mean, I remember, you know, uh, he was just holding my head there. It wasn't very comfortable. It wasn't comfortable at all, but, you know, uh, and for some of you who are very flexible with the neck, no problem. But most of us aren't very flexible with our neck, so you're going to find yourself like, oh my God, I can't reach that far, you know? Uh, there's some stretching involved as well, so make sure that, uh, um, first of all, make sure that you're aware of your own body. If you can't flex that hard, don't, don't you know, hurt yourself, okay? All right, cool. Yeah. All right, let's move forward. All right. So the next part is you're gonna go step, step, pop. That's the one, two. So seven, eight, and one, two. Hold three. Then you're gonna pop four. Now you do the. This is the chest pop, but it's not straight. You're gonna go at an angle, a right angle, right, 45 degree, right side, left side, right side, left side. Okay. So here are the counts: five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven. And one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Hopefully you guys are still with us. I know this is quite long, but if you really want to get this routine down, definitely uh, uh, we got to review it, we got to practice. So let's go all the way from the top. Make sure we don't forget, okay? So you guys remember the top? Right here? So Sammy and I, we're gonna do it uh, tempo, all right? If you can't do a tempo, remember using the YouTube function, uh, slow it down at a half speed, at a three-fourth speed, whatever speed you want, okay? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, and three, five, six, seven. And one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Hopefully you guys got all the way up to that part, but if you did, that's all right. Just rewind it and drill it with us, all right? So for those of you who are ready, let's go ahead and continue, okay? So now, this is where we're going to go into 
popping our neck, popping our head. All right? Okay, so for popping our head, what we're doing is we're gonna go right side. We're gonna go double, double. So right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Okay, right, left, right, right. Or just right, left, right. We might just hold the eight, or if you feel like you wanna pop an extra eight, that's fine, okay? So the beat is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold the eight, or pop the eight. Now, at the same time, you're doing one of these. You're taking a slow bow, okay? So what we're doing is you're taking a slow bow right here. Notice we're not doing this. You're not hunching. You're keeping your back, you're keeping your back straight. This way. Yeah, back straight, okay? And you're bending at your waist. And you're not bending your knees, you're not bending your knees, okay? So for those of you who are not as flexible, you might find yourself bending your knees slightly, that's all right. But try to do some stretch so you can do this without bending your knees, all right? So at the same time, I'm gonna do sideways. Same as gonna face front. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the head pop. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna be inside of you, stand in the front of you. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. We finish our head pop and we're down this angle. Again, I'm gonna show you the side angle. Sammy's gonna show you the correct angle, it's facing front. So from here, what we're doing is bending our knees, lowering our hip at the same time. So we're, we're not going, we're not just bending our knees and lowering the entire body. We're, we're bending our knees and lowering the body, okay? The head stays still, boom. The head is not coming down, the head stays still in space. One, two, three, four. Now, we're actually popping our arms, okay? Our arms here, you're gonna swing your arms back, and you're gonna pop this way. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now you're gonna come up. Five, six, and return down. Seven, eight. Okay, and we're popping. Okay, one more time. Let's do that whole eight count together. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. We finished. Uh, uh, uh. Now we're stepping left, right, left, right. Okay, you're stepping out. And one, hold two, and three, hold four. So the key part is, uh, of this is, again, isolation, okay? We're here, you're gonna step, step. Now, you don't wanna go like this. Step, 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 step. Upstairs, when I say upstairs, I'm talking about the head and the shoulder. Try your hardest not to move that. So you're stepping, step, 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 okay? Obviously the hard part is trying to pop at the same time. So we're not going step, step, not doing anything. We're going boom, pop, pop, boom, pop, pop, okay? So I'm really focusing on popping my arm right there. Bah, bah. Okay, let's try that together. Five, six, seven, and one, two, and three, four, yeah? All right, from here, you're moving up, pop up. You're staying straight up on five. Five, six, seven, eight. Same time, I'm popping, okay? And when I'm stepping, I'm, I'm popping my legs as well, okay? So from here, I have, and one, two, and three, four, five. If you wanna come up on the five, and if you guys can, when you come up on five, add the chest as well, boom, right? Five, six, seven, if you add a chest, extra bonus, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Get the arms, get the legs. If you practice this five, 10 times, 100 times, 200 times, by then it's gonna be a lot easier to add the chest and the neck as well, okay? So again, let's finish that last eight count together. Five, six, seven. And one, two, and three. Five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. We finished it. Let's see if we can put it all together. All right?
I want to do this. I want to do this. Woo! What a Brandon. Right. Here, Gordon. All right, Brandon.